Uh, what it is, you guys, it is your old boy, Bilk, and we have not done, like, a legitimate vlog before, so I thought this would be a lot of fun. Sorry if I'm a little scruffy looking, I've been working outside. Um, but, we talked about this before, and we've, uh, we're moving on to Gen 2 in Pokemon tonight. It is actually Friday afternoon, and I found copies of silver, and I found copies of gold, but I have not found crystal. Well, until today, I found two copies of it. Now, one's about 45 minutes away, the other one's about an hour and change away. So, it is now about 4 p.m. We're going to start streaming tonight, circa 10 o'clock, and hopefully. And I'm out here trying to bring, uh, bring a copy of Crystal home for you guys. So, I thought what I'd do is I would just film my little exploits here upload that be a little something a little different something a little different for the channel and uh, I'll also show you guys my rig because I always get questions every single night you know why are you doing an emulator what are you doing I mean it could be it would be really really easy to just do an emulator but it's not how I roll I like doing like the legitimate thing so let's go see if we can hunt down a copy of Pokemon Crystal real quick and uh, yeah bring this home for you guys sounds like fun Let's do this. I need to go pay attention to traffic. So unfortunately our first attempt has failed. They wanted 60 bucks for the cartridge and it's like worth like 35. So I, I pay him double for it. Especially, especially given the fact that like the cartridge, the screw was loose on the back of the cartridge. There was, they hadn't replaced the battery and it, it just wasn't worth 60 bucks by a long, 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 long shot. So if they had got it down to 40 for me, I mean, it would have been a question. But, I ended up getting ripped off tonight, so we're going to try a couple other spots, see if we can find a couple of those other copies and see what we can do. Okay, so the plot thickens. Um, I was able to find two more copies. One's questionable, but it's also 15 bucks. Uh, that, it may require some fixing. We could at least stream with it tonight, but I may have to like basically restart next week. Um, the other copy is, we have no idea. It's a GameStop. They haven't tested it, they haven't done anything with it. There's just no telling what the deal is with it. But usually GameStop's pretty good as far as like the quality of their stuff goes. But it's also 40 bucks. This one we know is gonna require repairs. The other one could be good. So I'm gonna try this one out first. And then we're gonna maybe wander down the GameStop. Big gamble, guys. Big gamble. But I really want to bring you this content. Uh, I really enjoyed Pokemon Red. I've enjoyed Gen One. I want to bring you guys Gen Two, and uh, you know, commit to what I promised y'all. I've been trying all week to find copies, and literally everybody I've talked to said, "No, we don't have any. No, we don't have any. No, we don't have any." I've had a little more time today because it is Friday. It's my free day, so. Yeah, stay tuned. Let's see what happens here. Boom! All right, guys. So I'm gonna take y'all to a super special secret spot right here in Kennesaw, Georgia. It's a few miles from where I live. It's it was a trek to get here, but this is definitely like one of my favorite places to buy retro gaming shit. So this is not a paid endorsement. Steel Collectibles in Kennesaw. I just love these guys. They have everything. It's just awesome. Check it out. We're going to walk in there. We're going to take a look, see what we can grab. And they've got my game, but it's... Uh, we'll talk about it. We'll go take a look. Try to talk over that real quick. So one of the things I'm going to be picking up shortly. Check this out. Right there. And this thing is just in, I mean, immaculate condition for considering age and all that. But to have the box, the original paddles. Oh, Y'all know I love retro shit. 
Yeah, we're gonna be taking this one home here shortly. But I gotta bring y'all Pokemon first. I gotta budget. I gotta be, gotta be smart. Can't blow all my money tonight. So, uh oh. I don't know if some of y'all gonna be all about this. Good stuff. Like I said, they got a little bit of everything here. This place is just my absolute favorite. It's also where I got my uh, my S1 Deadpool from a while back. Good stuff. If you are in Kennesaw, y'all at least just gotta stop in. Just legit, just like a... <laughs> you name it, man. You name it. They're gonna have it. Alright, guys. Our quest is complete for the night. We can stream. That's awesome. A little caveat to that, and we'll discuss it. But, uh, for now, that's the important part. So, big shout out to my folks over here at Still Collectibles. Always coming in clutch with the games. These are the guys that I bought the, uh, Fire Red from. They hooked us up with that. They're also the ones that have bought a lot of those retro game systems that you guys see before. Check this one out, though. One of these days, some of y'all, some of y'all will know what that right there is. And, uh, some of y'all will know what that one is, too. Your boy had one of those. Focus. And it was stolen. So, unfortunately, I had to leave without the Atari. I gotta wait for payday on that one. Uh, I gotta be realistic though. Um, basically, the copy that he gave me, the deal is it doesn't save. So we're gonna be able to stream tonight, but I'll basically have to rebuild the game during the week. They're gonna get a working copy in for me. Uh, I'm gonna basically pay them retail for it. Uh, I will not disclose the deal they gave me on this one. It is not a sponsorship, but Y'all are in Kennesaw, Georgia. For whatever reason, I don't give a damn if you're driving through. Come over here to Steel Collectibles. Check them out. Awesome people. I'm going to go ahead and head home. And uh, we've got to talk about Familia War Games. I've got some Dokkan stuff to do for y'all. I mean, we've got a lot, a lot to do tonight. It's going to be a busy, busy night for me. So basically what happened was uh, I went to one shop. I went. We went to Second to Charles, and they... This was so sketch, like it wouldn't work, it, it, we, we verified that, that it's saved, but it wouldn't work, the screw on the back was loose, it was just so many things that, so many red flags. There's one at a GameStop, and it would be another hour downtown, and then hour and a half plus home, given traffic probably two hours home, but they can't do, they can't test it, they can't do anything. So with this one, at least I know it works, and we can stream tonight. <laughs> So I realize I've never done a rig reveal. And those of you that are in uh, IT or any kind of server-side cable management, I will apologize in advance. My cable management is in dire need of, well, a lot of stuff. But let's go ahead and do this reveal real quick as part of the Pokemon video because it's actually kind of important. So this is the rig. Actually, let's see up here, all of those kind of made them a temporary feature. I'm going to mount them on the wall. I'm going to find a nice way to display them. But right now, I really like how they've added a little something something to the case. I do need more uh, RAM. And this dude actually wasn't sent by Spectre. I've had this guy forever. Uh, big shout out to... My man Steve at Anime Pavilion, who used to hook me up with all kinds of stuff when I uh, would show up at AFO and drop my entire uh, <laughs> my entire tax return in his lap. But why am I doing this reveal? Well, I think it's kind of important. Oh, and that's the old nine uh, nine seventy nine sixty. Sorry, nine sixty uh, that I was using before. Great video card. This one, not so much, but it'll work for now. We're going to upgrade this soon so we can get back to doing some more actual PC gaming. So, why am I doing the rig reveal in this video? Well, because one of the biggest questions I always get is, how do we stream Pokemon? And the answer is because I've got my Nintendo GameCube with the Game Boy Player here on the bottom. 
And I am not a fan of doing anything half-assed. I just don't like this idea of using emulators and all that stuff. So, I have Game Boy Player, obviously. Uh, the crystal is upstairs. I'll need to go get it. And I have that all wired up. Obviously, once again, I said my cable management needs help. I'm not lying. Uh, running it through here, through there, down through here. Yes, I need to cut these off, but they're fine for now. And then the RGB runs into this little converter. This converter, uh, eventually I'd like to get these two converters actually chassis mounted. Because as you can see, I've got plenty of room right here on the chassis. The radiator is going to go right there. So there's plenty of room like right here where I could just chassis mount these. I just have to, have to find a good solution. But they run into, the RGB runs into here. This then converts, and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is USB powered and it's going down here to my PDU. I have to mount the PDU up under the desk because as you can see there's, A, it's dusty as hell. But aside from all the dust and shit, the cables aren't really managed well. So I'm going to mount the PDU up under the desk. That way, I just haven't found a good way to do it yet. And then this is going to then be powered off of my USB pylon. So I can power the induction charger for my phones and this from my pylon. I've got a second one I'm going to mount uh, basically in front of that monitor. But I digress. The RGB goes into this converter. This turns it into HDMI. Now we have to strip the HDMI signal. So it comes through here because this is... You know, this follows all the rules. This will encrypt it. This will do all the stuff you need to do. Problem is, you can't capture on an Elgato encrypted HDMI. So, boop, goes into this cheapo, crappy Chinese HDMI splitter, which actually strips the encryption off. That's the only reason this is here, just to strip the encryption. Then that is going in the Elgato that I bought last December. So, yes, that's a lot of expandability. And uh, my EVGA, I'm using a cheap piece of crap motherboard right now. The EVGA should be back this week. I've been working with them for months and 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 we finally are getting it back. So this rig's whole rig's going to be rebuilt this week. It's going to be a lot of fun doing that. But, these are on my monitors. These, these things right here. Oh my God, these are like, those are a huge lifesaver because you know, when I'm streaming Don Machi, I've got my monitor like this. When I'm streaming Dokkan, I can just lift it up, spin this around, and now we're streaming Dokkan. I mean, that is just too handy. I love these things. Uh, If I can get the shot of the... There we go. Shouts out to Echo Gear. This monitor stand has been absolutely fantastic. And yes, I do have it mounted to a glass top desk. I'm pretty sure they don't recommend this. But it's been working for like a year now. So, no arguments there. Uh, I would very much like to go get a second one. And a fourth monitor that I could just then wrap around here. But it's working for now. So, that's the rig. Let me show you how all this actually works. So, once again, guys, my sincerest apologies. My intent was to come down here, record all this, upload the video, and then begin the stream. I should have been able to do that. I <sighs> should have easily been able to do that, but uh, uh, I had a friend call me after I bought the game. The game's right here, by the way. Had a friend call me after I bought the game and said, I was in, I'm in the neighborhood, hey, you want to stop in? So we stopped in, we grabbed, grabbed a beer and hung out for a little while, and then around 9.30, around 8.30 I had to call, had a Discord call with our people about <laughs> war games. Then, after that, I finally went home, got here around 10.30, was getting set up, had recorded that previous video, and now it is... I don't know if you can see that. It is 4 a.m. My three-year-old decided, you know, it'd be great. Let's have a violent hacking coughing fit 
complete with vomiting and all kinds of nonsense. Um, don't know what the hell that was all about, but here we are. So, welcome to my studio, guys. <laughs> so, this is where I do everything. Obviously, this is, uh, m this is generally my game capture screen. This is what I'll show you that kind of rotates based on whether we're playing Damachi or Dokkan. Obviously, right now I have a Damachi uh, capture that was going. Um, that's generally, this is where I just kind of do any kind of display. I've got editing software over there right now. This is where I display Pokemon when we're streaming. So, GameCube's right down here. Hi, Deadpool. What you doing with mine? Pound it! So, seat it firmly. Get it in there. Put Deadpool on top of it. Put Deadpool on top. Hit the power button. This is where magic happens. Do 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 do. Brump. There we go. So. Deadpool. Deadpool. You are supposed to be preventing this from happening. Why? Do your damn job, son. Anyway, apparently I've got some troubleshooting to do. That's fun. It's 4 a.m. I still haven't slept. Been up since 5.30 and uh, running around town and bringing all this to you, so. Woo! The, <clears throat> the unfortunate downside of all this is, as you can see, the cartridge isn't working at the moment. This cartridge will not save. So, I got a really fantastic deal on it. My guy is going to look for a cartridge that does save. He's going to hit me up with that once it, once they have it. And don't worry about the financial side of it. We are basically going to make it all work out. Um, so I was supposed to have a game to, to play for y'all. And then Active Three-Year-Old happened. Ever since we put him in daycare, it's been... A bloody friggin' nightmare. This boy gets sick like all the time now. But he'll have an amazing immune system. One hopes. So, yeah. Got a little troubleshooting to do. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, sometime midday, we'll, I'll just do a makeup stream of this. And then we'll see where all this goes. But I'm going to get this all edited up for y'all. And, uh, yeah. Bring you some Pokemon tomorrow, so... Uh, let me know what you thought of this vlog. Um, just a little kind of like tech. It was a big adventure. Like, I was really enjoying what I was doing this afternoon. I know it's a bit, you know, I could have been doing the Dokkan vids and all that, and I really do need to get those edited up. But I really enjoyed this. Like, like I love these types of adventures. Finding, uh, you know, cool stuff at all these little shops. So if you want to come along with me on some of these these little adventures, let me know. Because my goal is to go back and get that Atari here really soon. I mean, really, really, really soon. That Atari was awesome. So, that's going to be the video, guys. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to put a link in the description down here for the Facebook page of Steel Collectibles. Go give them a like on Booker. Uh, these guys are absolutely awesome. This is not a paid endorsement by any stretch of imagination. It's just a group of people that I really, really, really like, and uh, they they are the ones that have hooked us up with, uh, if you guys saw the Saturn and the Odyssey and all that stuff, like, they always have amazing things in their shop, so, good people, and if you're local, check them out too, you know, walk into the store and just, like, thumb up them and be like, like, and then walk out, and be, <laughs> what the hell was that guy, I don't know, <laughs> I digress, like this video, uh, comment down below if you want to see more of this type of stuff. Uh, share the video on social media because it helps out my channel. And subscribe. Uh, peace!